Okay, we're making a very special trip today to go through and show you something a little bit different. This is quite possibly the most extreme water cooling setup you'll ever see. It's gonna be good. We are out in Ona, West Virginia. Basically, you could see up on the mountains and you can see a bunch of the towers. Very nice view. But here to show you something a little bit different that you may not have seen before, even thought about before, because a lot of hard work goes into this kind of stuff. And that is a local television transmitter. So basically this is a site where your TV signal that goes over the air and you pick up via antenna is broadcast out to you. And then you also have the tower which goes way up there and there's a lot involved but basically give you a little overview of what is out here and again I'm not a transmitter person I'm not an RF person I don't claim to be I work here I assist when I can that's about it so we're gonna go into the first building over here So in here, you probably won't be able to hear me at all. So on this side, this is one set of cabinets for one of our stations that we're transmitting. Basically the signal is generated in these cabinets that's received from the local TV station and pumped out through a lot of these pipes that you're seeing up top here. And what you want to think of these as is almost like a giant coaxial cable. That signal's pushed out right over to the other building right there. And all of this, because there's so much power involved to get it out, has to be liquid cooled. And we'll go ahead and sneak over to the other building here real quick. There's some of the AC units. Keep everything nice and cool on the inside. And this is just for one of the buildings. And then for the other building, there's actually more back here. Now these are off right now because there's actually some issues with the transmitter. And then there's that pipe that comes out, feeds into this other building where the other station is. It comes in as combined right there. It goes over to this large system right here, which we'll show you that in a second. But here's the other TV station and the cabinets for those. Uh, I 
And basically all this comes out, again, throw those copper pipes, think of it like a giant coaxial cable. It comes over to right here. Now, I showed you on this side was the one building, and on this side is this building. What this is is a giant combiner. So this takes those two signals and combines them together to go over to there, which right now that's off. And basically from there, it would normally go out this line. Again, just like a giant coaxial cable over to that, up there, and then outside to the actual transmitter. Now what they had to do in this case, there was an issue. They had to pull this line off here from there to basically be able to test out and see what was going on. And right here was one of the problems. You can see where that was burnt up. All right, back outside now. And right here is that main line that I was talking about that basically now the two signals are combined and running out the pipe or the large, think of it as a coax cable, out this way. And you notice I have this loop in it right here before it actually goes over and up. And the reason why they have to have that is almost for expansion and contraction. Uh, so this way, as things move around and heat up and cool down, that gives us a little bit more room to actually go through and move without breaking. And then finally, everything will come up here, and you see that line right there that runs up and all the way up that tower. And you got the elevator right there in case you ever want to take a ride up. And that's something that specialized people, like this gentleman right here, would handle. And believe it or not, have to go all the way up to the very top of that to take apart these sections. As you can see right here, you got two sections that bolt on together there and bolt on together there. And there's a center line that runs on the inside there and that's a completely different type of world when you talk about RF and transmitters and things like that that's years and years of experience but one thing is for sure you will never get me on that elevator because there is no way and I mean I really can't state how tall up that is